Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first installment of G2 AI Brief, where we'll be discussing G2 data related to our AI categories, products, and our taxonomy as a whole. I want to jump right in and get a taste of the different types of data points we have, look at the products, look at the categories, and the taxonomy as a whole. And the thing we'll start with is the categories. What are the trending categories, the important categories to think about, to look at, to help buyers find the right solution that they're looking for for their business? The first one, the most popular category based on traffic for this past month was AI writing system. Those sorts of tools that help companies scale their content, write in all sorts of languages, and provide a really great tool to help with content creation. The next one is text-to-speech providing the ability to take text and put it into speech, allowing customization, changing the intonation, different languages, sometimes even voice cloning capabilities. The third one is chatbots, the ability for companies to put some sort of conversational interface, a virtual agent of sorts onto the website, onto their applications, to have an always on 24 seven bot available to someone on the other, on the other end. The next one, image recognition the ability for companies to have some sort of application and then add on image recognition API. So for example, a retail site, a retail store might wanna have the ability for companies or customers to snap a picture of a product and then get information. These image recognition tools can help the, these businesses add that capability, that functionality to their already existing applications. The next and final one is IVA, Chatbots 2.0, we like to think about it as. These types of solutions provide a, an even more advanced interface than Chatbots, something which is very innovative, integrated with backend systems, and provides the ability to have sustained conversations and a very powerful way for companies to get their information, their content out there to people in a conversational manner. So in many of these categories, most of these categories, content is very critical. The ability to take one content, turn it into another, scale content. And that's something which is very important for these solutions and AI as a whole. And we're seeing just how important this is over this path months for these top trending categories. There's actually a mix of the different types of solutions that have been popular over this past month based on their top score. That is to say their G2 score. One of the top products is Synthesia. Synthesia is a tool allowing for the creation of AI videos, creating avatars for all sorts of different use cases. That's the top one. ChatGPT, number two. Vertex AI Google solution, which allows developers and others to create AI solutions. Databricks, a very important data solution, which one can build all sorts of AI solutions on top of. IBM Watson X Assistant. Adobe Firefly, Drift, a, a, a chat-based assistant and, and tool to create chat interfaces. Quarry AI, again, another type of bot platform. Midjourney, AI image generator, and then MATLAB, a more, a more data science focused tool. The thing that all these have in common is the ability to add AI to one's workflow, but they vary how one does that, whether it's ones which are more developer heavy, others which are more user friendly for citizen developers or other business users. Data-wise, it's important to think also about what are these top categories that are on G2, not just from the perspective of, of traffic, not just from the perspective of the G2 score, but also looking at the categories in regards to how many reviews they've had over time. This past month, those top categories have been AI writing assistant. We saw that as a top category before, and chatbots, also a popular category for reviewers. These are solutions which are being used a great amount and being reviewed a lot. And again, speaks to that importance of, of not only content, so being able to write content, but also doing things in a very conversational manner. Last thing we want to conclude with is thinking about the news. There's a lot that's been in the news, but one of the things which just came out is Rabbit R1, a consumer product, but something which speaks to a broader trend that I'd love to hear what our audience has to say about. And that is the idea of interface. This tool allows one to speak to it and get back not just information, but it can automate. It can order pizza for you. It, it can control all your applications and it can do that in one very seamless interface. And, and also in the world of business software, we're seeing the same thing, the same trend. People wanna use one thing, have one software, 
of one platform, be able to use it and use it well and not have to go to all the applications. I think that's something we're also seeing in the world of business software and the consumer world has seen the same thing. Wishing everyone a great day, great week, and I appreciate everyone's time.